Hey friends, um, I just got inspired to do this. I haven't done one of these in a while, um, but I saw Figma put out a video just recently about creating multi-themed components. And I kind of wanted to do a twist on that, on what we do with our components with that kind of similar method. And maybe it'll get your gears grinding and uh, let you try out some, some similar tricks uh, that could save you time down the line. So what we have here are some text fields um, with a variant set. Um, what you might do, as you naturally would, is create some states for these text fields. When you're creating these states, it'll, at least the way I've done it, is you just duplicate it, assign a property, change some uh, you know, visual aesthetics, some states, some positionings, things like that to communicate the change of state. Um, the only issue and challenge with this is those changes that you're making aren't connected in any way to maybe this base state or this resting state. Um, what we've done uh, for some of our components is connect them in a different way so that you have instances of this base state. Um, and these other variants. So you'll see here, let's say I decide to slightly tweak the height on this one. And you'll see the heights are changing on the other states or variants. Um, so if we dig into this, you'll see there's an instance of this base one here. Same as here, etc. Now you're asking, how do you do that with a variant? Well, typically in the past, if you just had a main component on its own, is you would duplicate it. As soon as you duplicate it, you can see Figma is allowing you to create a new component. And it just drops in that instance uh, right inside there. Um, and because it's a new main component, you can go ahead, change some properties, Using overrides, can target this this primary, make it three, etc. Do the same thing here, and now I can call this active or focused. Um, with variants, if you duplicate, we'll see it doesn't do that. Um, it's creating a new variant on its own, let it letting you transform and change things the way you would expect it to. Um, for variants. The way you get around that is you need to drag it out of that variant set. I now automatically get an instance of that. And now I can create a new component, don't bother with naming or anything, and drag it back into this variant set. And now you'll see it's got that instance and it's a new variant within this set. Uh, naturally, your naming and your properties and things will be off, but just go ahead and update that and choose the one that's uh, reflective of the one you're trying to make. So now, as you can see, if you're making some of these tweaks, you now have that mirrored on all the variants that you've made in this set. Um, so for us, we have multiple products, which each have a slight, slightly different theme. Um, for each product, but the general UI look and feel aesthetics are generally the same. Um, so this works really well for us uh, when this is being used in multiple products and it helps us with scalability and maintenance, uh, etc. So I hope this kind of inspires you to try something along these lines and that this method can save you a lot of time. Uh, until next time, take care.